Hello. Hello, Steve. Oh, I think we've got a Jack coming back as well. Oh, so we slowly return. Oh, my God. Something's, something's happened to Jack. Something's grown all over the upper half of his body. <laughs> ah, get it off. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, Sam is uh, taking a slightly longer break because he's out cyber walking his cyber dog. So um, we'll be, uh, you'll just have our company for a few minutes. Talking that just reminds things. me of uh, in Future Armor, the uh, Jurassic Bark episode, mm -hmm. uh, where Bender gets the cyber dog. He's like, "We'll now commence four-hour yapping session." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good stuff. And we got John as well. Um, yeah, you know what's striking me about Cyberpunk 2020? Like, considering it's a game from the early 90s, the moment-to-moment -moment rules really, really, really easy. It's really straightforward. Yeah, I mean, you're on mute. Steve. Everyone's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> once, yeah, once you've sort of, you know, it's your stat, then your relevant skill plus a D10. That that's quite intuitive. Yeah. You can, that's quite easy to pick up. It's sometimes it's finding the stats. I think we had this when we were creating the characters. It's it's in alphabetical order within each within each, each yeah 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 stat. So it's like. Yeah. yeah, especially when you get something like photography, which can either go under sort of tech or sort of more creative, so intelligence sort of stuff. It's which side, yeah, trying to find it in that. Yeah. yeah. And I do, I mean, I'm generally in favor of even in systems like Cyberpunk or in D&D that is like this skill is associated with this attribute. I'm generally a big fan of changing it if needed. But yeah. Yeah, yeah, like adapting it for like I don't know. Yeah, um, in more of like the and obviously I'll always go back to this, but in more of that storyteller system style of just combining them as appropriate for whatever. Yeah, because um, it's interesting because you look at it and like for example, to use a comparable system from the time, the Cyberpunk sheet does not look very different to a Call of Cthulhu sheet. Mm. Yeah, um, fundamentally, yeah. but the role is done quite differently. And it's one of those things where, like, I always think the added complication in a lot of these systems is, like, having a difficulty number that isn't, like, automatically generated by... Because in Call of Cthulhu, although you can have modifiers, like, your difficulty number is just your stat all the time. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so it's very easy for a player to roll themselves and just say if they've succeeded or failed. Whereas this, this kind of thing where there's diff set difficulties and modifiers all, almost always requires the G that extra step from the GM, which, um, yeah, it's just an extra thing. Yeah. It's almost like, sort of just from generally reading some various RPG books and stuff like that, it's, you get a sort of either end of the sort of scale with it, whereas you get something like Cyberpunk or Call of Cthulhu, where there's like 100 skills and they yeah. quite narrow the thing, and then you get something on the other end, which is sort of like, say like Powered by the Apocalypse, which uses like moves. <laughs> So like instead of you know trying to you know having a specific trying to think fencing skill, you just use kick some ass, like mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Week, and that'll cover most of you know pretty much all your hand to hand combat. Uh, I mean, I I think I think I generally prefer the sort of less skills and vaguer the better. I I, I tend to as well, but I think there is there is a kind of sweet spot for me, and again, it's probably because it's the storyteller system, but like having this where there's like, I don't know how many abilities are out here, but, they're, but there's definitely knocking on for a hundred, if not yeah. over. And like, that that's definitely too many for me, and like classical Cthulhu again, just yeah, too much. Whereas something like, um, like the storyteller thing of having nine attributes and 30 abilities, or sometimes 27 abilities, like the thing is, there's less there. There's there's few enough there that I can immediately think of what's applicable. But also, yeah. there's the fluidity of being able to mix and match them that makes it like you yeah. know, the the classic example that I have used in the past is I have had people roll strength plus bureaucracy um, <laughs> to break into a filing cabinet. Which um, yeah, and <laughs> if, if you've got that flexibility, that's really good. But I do have a love as well for stuff like modern year zero, where it's just like. It, it's pretty easy because there's so few different um, skills and stats that you can just combine things together really easily. Yeah. The other thing I'm I'm with this particular 
version that that is is kicking me is um yeah it's one of the old school um scanned it's just a, a scanned uh the pdf is a scanned document so there's no indexing there's no search function um and there's no index at the back of the book either which is and, oh really? did you did you get yours from the recent humble, humble bundle steve um i mean i do have that i'm not the one i'm looking at is the one that um Summers. Oh, okay. Because my, yeah. oh, okay. mine has mo no index at the back of the book. <laughs> yeah. But it is it is at least um uh it is indexed in that it has okay. uh, you know sections listed. I might and, well uh, stuff try like to that. download the uh, humble bundle one then because that's uh, yeah, yeah that could be handy. Um it is. It is it also doesn't help that all of the essential rules are kind of scattered throughout the book. I'm kind of flat dash approach. It's it's not the worst. I, I'm 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 feeling reasonably okay with it in terms of I've found stuff I needed to. Uh, yeah, so it's not like some, but yeah, I yeah, it's certainly. definitely not the worst. But it's like, yeah, I, I do favour like having a chapter that has all the rules in it, mm. um, so you can just navigate around that bit. But um, I yeah, I bad. think it just partly suffers from there being so many essential rules, like doing one thing occasionally needing like five different criteria to check against is like it's, it's too much yeah like dealing damage is roll to hit and then roll where it hits and then compare against armor and then all the other and no yeah that's it's that's where the much. crunch is really is in that combat checking stuff and also in the the net running we haven't got any net runners with us today but like let me tell you um <laughs> you, i mean it's something you literally need graph paper for so I kind um of, yeah i kind of yeah. like the idea of it but yes um the idea of doing that in a live stream yes is... it, it was notorious back in the day for like if you had a net runner in your party you'd run like a four-hour session and the last two hours would be the net runner hacking into the system um <laughs> and just basically playing essentially playing a pen and paper board game with the with the gm yeah. um <laughs> so yeah that was fun um yeah i think it's held up pretty well though for an early 90s game it's all I mean, right i love the atmosphere it's uh um, you know, from that point of view, yeah. Um, be interested to see what Cyberpunk Red is like. What sort of changes they've? Uh... Yeah, I haven't, I haven't dabbled, but you got to imagine that the combat has been simplified, and like the health and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, nine bytes, or yeah, or a separate session just for the net run. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, um, definitely, because like you just sat around bored while two people yeah. play a kind of graph paper based board game but i think um, when we played our offline game someone was net running during a combat and we couldn't oh, do that wow. separately because they were trying to do things that affected the combat mm -hmm. so it's wow. like okay your initiative turn is 15 minutes and everyone else's is about 10 seconds yeah so what you really need is some sort of nice nice integrated computer game where you know all of these things are brought together and uh, I'll tell you what, if only someone did that, and I'm sure it wouldn't be a disaster. Mm. <laughs> I actually enjoyed Cyberpunk 2077. There, I've said it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, you know, once we sort of decided to play this, it got me in the mood to play the video game again. And it, yeah, it's, it's all right. It's fine. I've, I've kind what of, it is. I've kind of yeah. shelved it for the moment because I'm hoping at some point like, they drop a drop a patch. I think the 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 combination of the single player no, hang on, let me get this right the the story based scene based stuff is is great the open world stuff is not so good um it's very basic it's like yeah it, it, it's it's like throws back to like very early gta saints mm. row type stuff where it's like the open world is just a big empty world and every now and then there's a pod of enemies who you will shoot and they will never respawn it's like okay, this this does not yeah. have legs. I mean, I mean, said that I played it for over a hundred hours, so it had clearly had yeah, legs. Yeah. Provided <laughs> a lot of entertainment, so it, it. I think it, it was a victim of being sort of promoted too early, like the first trailer coming out ages and ages ago, and then years, it's like almost eight, nine years ago. Yeah. I think CD Projekt Red were almost a victim of their own success with The Witcher Three, and that being. So yeah. applauded 
yeah. the, the hype level was it, no, it's the same if they ever release Half Life Three. Yeah, it no, it was because and it was one of those things where like CD Projekt Red, um, someone is made is made of sauce pans. <laughs> that was the dog drinking. I'm sorry, I shouldn't. Uh, okay. He's not far from it. If it's a dog, it's fine. Um, so, um, <laughs> yeah, like I think um, we, we will get back to our game now. But my, my I have a point to make, so I'm going to finish it. <laughs> um, yeah, CD Projekt Red essentially were. It was promoted as a AAA game, and CD, CD Projekt Red are not a AAA studio. They yeah. do not have the capacity to make GTA. <laughs> Um, no matter how good Witcher is, it's still an open world RPG, which is a very different beast from an open world sandbox game. Um, yeah. And Cyberpunk is not that. And like I know they talked about redoing it, I don't think it can be rebuilt to be that. Like I think it's fundamentally operating on an engine and a, and a system and a code base that cannot support that. So um, I think if people are expecting it to be rebuilt and do what they want, they're going to be very, very disappointed. Um, but they can at least drop things in that you would have expected them to be in from the beginning, like the ability to change your appearance and yeah, your hair, which is and like which is a... so fundamentally, yeah, yeah, on, in such a transhumanist genre as cyberpunk. The fact that you can't even get a haircut is like, <laughs> yeah, I can... <laughs> and like the enemies don't respawn. Like, I if I go back into it now, I'm like, because for this, I was like, oh, hey, maybe I should play some cyberpunk. And like, I go back into it, but I've completed everything. Hmm. There's literally no one for me to fight yeah, other yeah. than teleporting cops. <laughs> so, anyway. should we get back to the real cyberpunk now? <laughs> <laughs> We all know 2020 is the true, true cyberpunk nightmare here. Um, so, uh, sorry, I took so long, by the way. Doc Walk, you know. Um, I believe I shall have just Steve on screen before we have Takashi back again. For all happy with that? Sure. <clears throat> so, things are interesting for you. <laughs> you have uh, just, well, been sort of kicked out, sort of escorted, sort of probably voluntarily left the uh, <clears throat> HQ of Militech. Mm. Probably kind of, you know, middle of the night. Uh, well, probably 9 p.m. or something like that, maybe maybe even a bit later. Um, and yeah, you, <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, so what time is it related to? So I, 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 I guess I knew what time this was yes. going to kick so off. actually i'm going to wreck i'm going to wreck one so it's a bit later than that because you were you okay. were unconscious for a bit too so let me think sure. probably more like half 10 um, okay time wise um and i think that you knew uh when you had set things up that uh termination was due for half 12. however you don't know exactly what's uh you know you're, you're not in control of things anymore so you have no idea right. if that's still the maintained order you could check that if you used your corporate login in a public terminal or back at your house or if that's where you want to go or perhaps your safe house. However, you're almost certain that, that would be traceable. Mm, yeah, you, that doesn't sound great. Are you kind of just standing outside the corporate gate pondering this? Kind of I, no, I would I would, I would, have set off with purpose. Um, okay. your, your corporate vehicle is still there, but it's definitely tracked. So if you sure. don't want to be tracked by that vehicle, uh, you could want to walk. Um, can I like hire a, a, a cab or something? Is that a yeah. thing? Like call yeah, it? Taxi. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Um, um, so let's let's say you're wandering over to the nearest taxi rank. Uh, mm. Give me a what's the is that what is it? I kind of want the skill. Is it like notice or something? Like a, a perception, a perception skill, isn't it? Yes. Give me a perception uh, roll then. This is where I struggle to find it on the sheet. I know it's, it's so huge, isn't it? Awareness notice. Awareness. Would that do? Oh, yeah, that's the one. Awareness notice sounds good. Okay, that's an intelligence based role. So very good for you. It is, yes. I have intelligence ten. Uh, awareness notice is six. So I roll a seven. So uh, twenty three? Yeah, you make it easy. This person who you notice is not trying to avoid your gaze. They're trying to avoid everyone else's gaze, but not yours. You notice out the corner of your eye, kind of in I say a darkened street, it's the corporate zone, so everything's kind of light and flashy and shiny and new looking, so there's not really darkened areas, but mm. kind of maybe under, just under the shade of like, you know, uh, I don't know sunshade for the, for the cafe in the day or something like that, if you see what I mean, where it's a bit darker in the uh, nighttime light. Uh, you notice Gabriel. 
Gabriel is the solo that you have contracted to for your personal protection. You know that uh, they are have, having access to your tracker. Yeah. Um, however, you don't know how they knew to you were in trouble <laughs> or needed their attention because you haven't you haven't been able to signal to them other than they know your location. Sure. Okay. Um, well, I guess I will uh, kind of walk towards and past them in a sort of um, you know I don't want to immediately like stand there and wave, yeah, uh, yeah. so I'll, <laughs> I'll kind of you know walk towards them, past them, and then presume that they're going to kind of fall in yeah, the position yeah, where I can. Gabriel is a very cybered up individual, uh, kind of wearing a visor. Um, which obscures the eyes, or whether they have real eyes under them or not, you don't know, and kind of a full kind of plate mask thing. You've talked to them a few times before, they have a fully like synthesized voice and everything like that. They're a very like large individual, like tall and fairly chunky, but also kind of androgynous. You're not certain that they're male or female, it's never come up. So sure. they really, um, otherwise fairly, like, you know, they don't stand out otherwise, they don't have any particular shooting features, just kind of black gear and all that sort of thing. They're not obviously armed at the moment, but you wouldn't be that in the corporate zone. Um, you might have plenty of arms within their arms, but you know, that's sure. sure. <laughs> um, and yeah, uh, you hear a, uh, a gentle thump of boots following behind you, presumably. Okay. Gabriel. Um, well, I would uh, activate, so I have um, a phone splice and uh, a scrambler. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I think as we're walking along, I would um, trigger my phone and then sort of essentially just call up. Oh, I don't know whether Gabriel has. <laughs> uh, the appropriate. Ooh, I'm not. No, I'm not sure you would. But I mean, Gabriel could just answer the phone. But also, given how heavily cybered up Gabriel is, maybe it's possibly <laughs> a fair bet that Gabriel does also have the kind of you know internal phone setup, basically. <laughs> um, well. You. Let's say let's. I hope so because yeah. I'm going to try to uh, talk to him uh, or her um, uh, silently, uh, sort of yep. subvocally, and just uh, um, uh, what's the situation then? Do, what do you know? Uh, yep, you do not hear Gabriel talking behind you <laughs> when you hear Lovely. the response back to you. Nothing. Just knew you were in danger. I'm paid to keep an eye on things and. That's not your normal evening, is it? No, no. Things things have gone bad. Um, yeah, I don't uh, I don't expect I'm going to be working for uh, for Militech uh, much longer. Ooh, that bad, eh? Well, yeah. good job I found you then. Yes, I have some choices to make, um, but really, I think the only way out of this is, well, to make to make what Militech are trying to do more expensive than it needs to be. Um, I, might, I might need your help with that. Your call, boss. Can you my guns, then? Yeah, let's get somewhere where we can uh, uh, kit up and uh, take it from there. Good idea. In this zone, they might still be able to hear us, so we better be careful. Let's, uh, let's get somewhere safe, then. Mm -hmm. I'll follow your lead. Right. Okay. <laughs> so, in terms of timing, so what I'm going to want to do is, yes, get somewhere, get get a gun, get a pistol. Mm -hmm. um, did you have a safe house? I think you did, didn't you? I did. Yes, and and hopefully this was off the uh, off the company's books. Mm -hmm. um, yes. So <laughs> this was an interesting thing we did beforehand, where we 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 let you choose you choose multiple uh, things like the tracker and mm. the solo, which is Gabriel, and the safe house, and then I roll the dice, and Steve does not know the result of said dice, <laughs> whether or not these the corporation knows, maybe even controls said things. <laughs> so it's a bit of a gamble, but, a a gamble. Uh, you know, you've got to play your cards, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I reckon, yes, I guess, hopefully we can get there and wherever else we need to be quickly enough, but I guess I would go to my safe house. Yeah, taxi, was it? Um, yes. Yes. It's not a huge walk, It'd be about half an hour, maybe 40 minutes walk, or you get a taxi and you'll be there in five or ten. It's up to you. Taxis, I mean, you know, it's a taxi. Mm. It's always possible that there's corporate bugs in there if they're, they're trying to make a bit of extra money on the side. You don't know. You'd probably yeah, but, be okay. 
timing is pretty uh, pretty critical. So uh, yeah, I think I'll take a taxi. Cool, cool. Yeah, you had a cab. You know, what? I'm going to roll the dice for that too. <laughs> pretty unlikely, so. Um, cool. So yeah, you uh, hail down hail down a cab. They pull over. Uh, wordlessly, really, you know, it's quick enough. You jump in. Uh, the, the classic sound of the uh, uh, the Chew Two burning engine, which is basically a high 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 temperature burning alcohol of this world, because there's no more oil left. Uh, kind of uh, pounding away underneath the hood. And you pull away nice and speedily into the uh, late evening lack of traffic in the corporate zone. Uh, and I'm just given the address a, that is an uh, automatic where to come through the back of a cab, cool. no boy speaking to you. Great. Um, I will give an address that is uh, like a, a few, a couple of blocks removed from uh, the actual safe house. Yeah, sure, sure. Um, I think this is, I'm assuming this is outside of the corporate zone, probably in the kind yeah. of out, probably not in the battle, the war zone either, maybe kind of in the outskirts of it, kind of a dodgier area, but you just lock the whole place up. So, you know, you'd hope you'd be all right there. Cool. So let's say that's out way to the west, then, kind of uh, inland, a little bit away from the sea, because Night City. Oh, sorry, the east, because uh, Night City's on the coast. Wait, the port's on the east side of the map, but I just realised we're meant to be on the west coast, and so I'm just confused because <laughs> the port is on the east side of the map. Let's just have assume they... that they flipped east and west coast on this map. No, <laughs> you can have a port because yeah, that goes right around river yeah. and the, the harbour and stuff like okay. that. Okay, we'll stick with that then, and we'll say that we're on like a sticky out bit of land, and then we'll go west, which is inland, even though we're on the west coast. <laughs> Thank you for that clarification, then. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll go inland a bit uh, in the taxi. You arrive within 10 minutes. There's not much traffic. Gabriel's in there, by the way, with you, and you presumably yeah. do not engage Gabriel in conversation. Gabriel does not say a word to you. Uh, he's practically motionless next to you, just kind of gazing out the window. And yeah, you pull up a few blocks away. Uh, are you just going to move straight to your safe house then? Check out the area a bit? What's the plan? Um, I would be looking around for, uh, like, during the journey, any tales, anything like that. Um, uh, as I get out, again, looking around for unusual activity. Sure. I think um, Gabriel will do the same as well, because that's a very lovely. good idea. So give me a, uh, we said it was notice, didn't we? Yes. Uh, which is a Gabriel. six on top of my... Okay. Well, I roll a three, which adds to ten plus six so 19. okay and oh yes gabriel the nine so gabriel gets 22 in total so um uh you do not notice anyone tailing but you're not you know 100 <laughs> sure. percent or anything like that you're like mm, um uh i think well you don't get any verbal recognition of anything from gabriel but you see gabriel kind of gazing around a bit but with that kind of visor you're not really sure where they're looking anyway um, but yeah, you don't think anyone's tailing you, but you're not very certain. Okay. And same same effect when you get out, you have a good look around, see what's going on. You know, you're like, mm, don't think, I don't think there's anyone particularly paying attention to me. There's people around, but it's kind of a bit of a slum out here. You know, outskirts of town, people are just going by their own business, scrounging a living as to what they can. Perhaps you get a few looks because you're kind of a, a suited up corporate and a big, heavy, heavily armed solo out here in the middle of nowhere. So, you know, maybe, but nothing more. Nothing by anything conspicuous. Great. Okay. Well, yeah. So I'll, I'll head to head to the safe house. When you're um, wandering over there, uh, Gabriel just just uh, sets, um, says with that kind of heavily uh, synthesized voice again. Uh, no tail. I reckon. Looks like we're okay on that front. Good to uh, good to know. Um, yeah, we're gonna get the. Yeah, yeah, they're not going to let me uh, disappear so easily. But uh, let's hope we have a few, a bit of grace period first. Sure, this is the best choice. I'm not one to make up your mind, but big corporate you're talking about there. I think it's, well, it is, but uh, I don't think, well, they're not going to let me go. So I either do something or I don't. And if I don't do anything, then we know what's, well, we know what's going to happen to uh, to the doves. So I have to do something. Uh, Gabriel uh, looks at you for a moment while walking and then like puts a shoulder, puts like an arm around your shoulder and taps you on the back for a moment. He doesn't say anything else. 
okay, your safe house. Uh, what does your safe house look like? <laughs> There's not much in it. It's pretty functional. Um, there'll be some sort of you know data connection and um, uh, TV or screen for local news, which I will turn on as soon as I get in. See mm -hmm. what's going on. Try to find whether there's anything uh, um, been being uh, mentioned so far. Mm -hmm. um, Nothing stands out to you this evening. But to be fair, you've only been. You know, it, it's still. I mean, it's like ten, ten thirty, something like that. It's not that late yet. Um, you wouldn't expect any action to have taken place by this point. Okay, right. And the news would take time after that. You imagine too. So um, there'll also be sort of like um, you know pre prepackaged uh, long life food. And water, mm -hmm. um, so I'll you know grab a drink and uh, offer uh, offer anything to to Gabriel. Mm -hmm. Gabriel declines anything you offer. Seems happy enough. Um, by the way, talking about the terminal, so mm -hmm. you could log in with this terminal and get quite a bit of information, assuming you haven't been completely locked out from the systems. You could log in with your corporate login, or you can just kind of browse around casually, not using any particular logins, and see what you could find. Um, there's many options available to you there. If you use your corporate login, it's pretty certain they'll be able to find you. <laughs> you care about that at this point, it's up to you. You know, you might be long gone, you might not care about the safe house at this point, or you might not want to be tracked, it's up to you. Equally, if you do a casual login, it's still technically possible you could be found if someone's really looking for you, because everyone has kind of an individual identifier on the net, if you see what I sure, mean. Sure, sure. Yeah. But that will be much, that will be really specific hard work someone's putting in to find you then, if you see what I mean. Um, I think I'd start with just a general again, just just looking around. Um, nothing that requires any any uh, any deep level of login. Certainly avoiding any corporate stuff. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, yeah, sure. I mean, you probably don't find much just looking around. What if there's anything specific you're looking for, though? Otherwise, but you know, if this is just general news and information and things like mm -hmm. that, you know, nothing's happened according to anyone out there, really. <clears throat> okay. What are you looking for? <laughs> um, so I knew I knew the route that the the weapons were were being taken, didn't I? You did, yes. So that, that's um, so I will be I will be looking for uh, disturbances or um, maybe even if there's like the equivalent of of, of Twitter, any sort of. <laughs> Um, reports or you know okay. the, the impromptu concert stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, I was going to say for things that it won't be difficult to find news about that that kind of yeah. improm impromptu show that Spiral did. Uh, you actually find pictures of it already. I'll tell you what you could find uh, the feed from. Uh, oh God, I'm terrible at forgetting characters' names because we've done Tia? this show. Tia, thank you. Okay. Um, Tia, yeah, 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 you've got uh, you've got that feed up, and uh, you've got some stuff from Fallout as well. The other. Um, uh, media that tends to follow around and then just posts on, you know, cyber Twitter and all that sort of thing. Um, there's quite a lot of excitement around that, but you don't see much else. Um, okay. You know, there's, it's not like the anything else going on there was publicized. If you did a bit of digging and spent some time, you might be able to get CCTV or you might be able to get, you know, other views on what was going on. That's up to you, though. But there was that definitely went ahead exactly as you'd imagined. And you right. kind of had an idea what else was supposed to be going along inside, but you can't find extra evidence, if you see what I mean. Okay. Uh, well, I'll, I'll sort of leave that in the background uh, mm -hmm. and uh, pick up my uh, pistol. Um, and uh, yes, grab a probably like a long overcoat or something. Um, mm -hmm. Sure. Gabriel is standing by the door while you're doing this now, just just watch, keeping watch out outside, making sure nothing's going on. Mm. So I know I know that they're likely to go. I know where their haunts are. I know you you have a pretty good idea of all this stuff. Yeah. And if there's anything you need to check with me, I can tell you because okay, you know, big part of what you've been doing for a while. <laughs> so well, I guess uh, we need to we need to let them know, Gabriel. Um, they're going to be going to the um, that uh, that club. What's it? What's it called? Seven. Seven Troads. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know how to how to get in there. I mean, I could just walk up, but <laughs> I do stand out. Do you have any uh, 
any suggestions to is it is it now just what do you reckon look man it's your business i'm here to protect you if this is what we got to do we got to do it right but uh yeah you'll stand out <laughs> i mean perhaps that'll work to our advantage though if this is what you want right you want people to pay attention i guess i guess i mean what do you want from them are you just trying to be the hero here save lives <laughs> just what goes hero, hero, was a, hero was a strong word um i guess if you're in this deep you're gonna ask them for a favor right eh? Well, I think if people know what's been going on, I, it has to it has to come out now. If if I do nothing, then the doves are, are dead. If I just tell them to run off, then the corp will pick them off one by one. So we have to make this expensive. We have to make an example. I mean, you and me will be dead too, and I'm against that one, so... Sounds a good plan to me. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do the trodes. I guess so. Are you do you wanna is it is it, do you wanna hide in the shadows and keep an eye on me for a distance or do you wanna what's what suits ben, your style? What's the plan? You got a car? Um Do you have your own car? I don't think you do. I think you've only got the corporate, right? Yeah. I was kind of wondering whether I could, um, like, get a, a, a hire a motorcycle or something, just sort of like have have something. Sure, sure. I kind of like that. <laughs> Can you like drive that. or ride a motorcycle? <laughs> well, I, I have I have various chips. Unless they were taken off me, I, I would. Be no, 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 no. Your chip is still on your head. That would be a lot of work. They're going to surgery you, geez. Um, so uh, yes, I can. I've got a a, a plus three uh, motorcycle chip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um which uh which cool. i have installed so uh cool. and drive, get, but... get a motorcycle is that that's what the plan is <laughs> yeah yeah hmm so i think either you can head back into town and look to buy or hire one or you could just literally go outside and see if there's any old dodgy fucker out here who has a motorcycle that would get you there that you could give them some cash for <laughs> that sounds that would be quicker that sounds good let's give that a go yeah. And I do have a fair amount of, of, of loose cash in, mm -hmm. in you know, cred chips. So uh, um, I can certainly uh, uh, give, yeah, provide recompense. Cool. Cool. Okay. I think, uh, I think <laughs> Gabriel probably looks at you. I mean, it's difficult to say quizzically because you can't see very much in your face. <laughs> but it uh, gives you a kind of, yeah, head tilted look <laughs> and goes, guess I'll try and get one too then. <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll toss in a chip with some cash on as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you pay Gabriel pretty well, so they kind of I think they go fine, but I'm good. Don't worry. <laughs> and uh, kind of run around the bit side of the building in another direction to you. Cool. Give me a first. Give me a uh, whatever it was notice awareness. <laughs> See if you can okay. find some random bicycle, motorcycle you can either nick or buy or whatever around. Uh, that would be. Uh, 20, 10 plus 6 plus 4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll do it. So um, you spot a uh, a couple of kind of skinny, gnarly looking teenagers, and they've got like just three old banger bikes next to them <laughs> that look like they run. And actually one of them is like running the engine right now, like revving it up. Um, uh, it sputters a lot. <laughs> Which isn't good for an alcohol-powered engine. <laughs> so, God. Uh, but I mean, it'd probably get you there if you want to try and bother them about it. They they look at you like weirded out, but they're not about to jump you or anything. Like, <laughs> what the hell is this posh corpo doing here? In fact, they look quite intimidated because you'll probably look quite intimidating. To be fair. Cool. Well, yeah, I guess I'll uh, uh, stride over mm. and say, uh, yeah. Um... Hi, I uh, I need your bike. I think <laughs> I think there's kind of a stunned silence, and then one of them gets up, holding like a knife out. You know, they're pretty like not like they're about to stab you, but just like, sure. like <laughs> hey, Chombata, we don't want no trouble. And neither do I. Neither do I. And I'll reach into my slowly into my jacket and pull out a cred chip, um, 
which you, can have I don't know how much you, motorbikes. You pay bucks. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then, I mean, <laughs> for a shitty rundown, like I'll be barely running. Else. I mean, <laughs> like a hundred a hundred EB will be good price for these folks, probably. Yeah. I mean, if well, you the want, chip will have on it. I think probably. <laughs> I mean, okay, I, I think you'd have to like scan it, but they probably have something they could scan it with for that purpose anyway, because everyone would. So let's say like one of them scans it quickly and goes, take them, take them all. Ta yeah, sure. Have what you want, man. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, yeah, and they all um... just like, I, I think they run off immediately thinking <laughs> you've lost your fucking mind and just that you're obviously going to like change, change it and try and shoot them at or something to get this back, <laughs> leaving all three bikes. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I will. I'll look them over and and pick the best one, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I prefer something cool. a little more shiny, but <laughs> none of them are shiny. <laughs> um, yeah, he had a lot spare. <laughs> um, yeah, so you you pick the the one that's running because you know it works. <laughs> uh, you jump on it. It's very hot underneath you. It feels like it's gonna it might explode any minute, but it moves itself fine. You can control it all right. Um, do you kind of send a quick call to Gabriel or? Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. I'll let him know there are, there are bikes here if he's not found one. Yeah. Shit, you did better than me. Be there in a sec. And literally a couple of seconds later, you see them sprinting up a street. They're quick. <laughs> They're like, you know, you they also need the bike. <laughs> um, you're not quite sure how cybered up they are, but that it does look like they're fairly, you know, there's a lot of cyber going on there. Um, and then a few seconds later, they're on another one of the bikes, kind of kicking frantically at the the starter, <laughs> um, which breaks off under their leg, but it God. starts. <laughs> well, it's a one-use trip, I think. So, <laughs> and yeah, and then I guess uh, I guess we uh, we head off into the night um, yeah. over to uh, Seven Trouds. You do indeed on your two absolute wrecked bikes. Cool. Let's switch back to the other folks then. Tell you what, controlling I'm it. <laughs> there we go. Do we want to leave Steve on? Uh, no, we'll leave Steve off for now. Go away. Don't worry, you get to join us soon. <laughs> so, well, we hope so, anyway, unless something goes horribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You've. Uh, so, I, I reckon Spiral's probably got their own vehicle. So, uh, spiral, or maybe you got someone to drive. Maybe you band your, your band. I, your I think the band there. has like a will have like a whatever the cyberpunk equivalent of a van is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you kind of you you make your way maybe maybe kind of lazily <laughs> towards Seven Trodes. Um The other two, uh, Tia and Junior. Do you reckon Tia would have their own vehicle, or do you reckon Tia just jumps in with the doves? Tia jumps in with pretty much anyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, sounds like how you're right. If if she can, like, I don't imagine there was anyone fairly important or whatever at the gig because it was mm -hmm. just random fans. But if she can smooth her way in with someone that would make a good interview, she'll she'll do that. But uh, otherwise, if, yeah, if you want to jump in with the doves, you will not have time for that. <laughs> yeah, no, I'll, I'll are, jump in with the doves. As you can imagine, not hanging around. <laughs> I do not want to get a get stranded here, and neither is Spiral for that matter. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Junior and Tia are in with the doves. Junior's driving one of the vans. Um, off you go. Uh, there's no no sound of cops. Uh, the crowd are kind of dispersing now, and you speed off into the night. Um, remarkably, there's no no trouble. Nothing much seems to happen. I mean, sometimes these things go off without a hitch. Sometimes they don't. I guess tonight you got lucky. Um, you head out to the south of the city. Uh, well, Spiral heads probably straight to Seven Trodes, I said, but you head to the south of the city and you uh, drop at one of your numerous kind of cash drops, which are basically just old wrecked garages in various places, which you'll kind of come back to at a later time. Uh, drop most of the guns other than a few prize things. Junior, I mean, you've been driving, but have you been like, while this kind of drop is going on, are you kind of taking anything to have a look at or anything like that as well? Or are you kind of... Yeah, probably... I mean, you said it was mainly just standard weapon, really. It's nothing experimental, but yeah. I mean, are you having a good look to see if there's anything unique there? Because you have... yeah, probably having a a peruse over anything. Okay. I, you know, didn't notice. See if there's anything I didn't notice as cool, we were cool. making a, a getaway. Okay, okay. Well, I think 
you as you look closely you're kind of like uh you don't see anything really unique but there's something odd about a few of these weapons and you can't really put your finger on what it is you know your kind of sense for these things is going yeah so maybe you like do you think maybe you pick one up and keep it with you when you go on just one of the ones that's making you feel a bit funny yeah i'll probably take it with me and uh have a look at the trodes <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. cool makes sense sure um tia is there anything you want to do while you're on the drive as well or you you have to wait i think i'm going to spend most of it uh looking at my camera and trying to figure out why it hasn't been working this evening <laughs> because obviously it's the camera's fault uh that and amount of checking it's canon now checking cyber twitter mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. to fan up whatever's going on in the right. cyber hashtags i love it i love it <laughs> this is the problem with talking about a future period that is technically in the past mm -hmm. When none of these things even existed in the actual cyberpunk world designed in the book. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. should just be lucky that none of us took up the option in the book to have a fax machine implanted in your arm. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, but yeah, basically, I'm. Oh, I can't draw the net. I don't have a terminal. Nope. No, I'm just going to be looking at my digital camera. It's, it's amazing how literally only runners can have any hope of doing it on the move. And even then, they have to have like the phone set up and all sorts of other stuff. <laughs> But you've also got to remember that actually the internet or you know the net in um in cyberpunk is actually weirdly more restrictive than it is now because the corps control all the access to it so like and um, it's, for it's normal people it's, slow. yeah it's meant to be really super slow and like you just access um it you may unless you have an implant you mainly access it through de public data terminals not yep. um yeah because yeah everything's locked down exactly and like the, the thing i can believe is if you want to travel places in the net it's like you physically travel space to space through the net and you can do it at a greater or larger scale but you can't just go to like you know any old web page anywhere you have to like move around it yeah like, to a certain extent like you have a server point and you have yep. to like move physically along the map between server points mm -hmm. so. it's like the bit in jurassic park basically <laughs> yeah 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 exactly yeah. <laughs> It's, it's not what I thought I'd be referencing in Cyberpunk. That's, that's a good <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, you're not browsing, as you said. <laughs> um, so, Junior, uh, you're driving, so you're maybe a bit distracted, but nonetheless, when you do this drop-off and everything as well, make me a, what did we say it was, notice roll, didn't we, for that? Um, so, notice what, what's oh called? sorry it's awareness notice and awareness it's notice. actually under an a under intelligence i think uh so i rolled a three uh, i, I see, have sorry. three in that and it's intelligent so 13 in total 13 in total okay hmm. i think with your driving you probably don't notice as well so um yeah no nothing all good it's all fine <laughs> yeah just yeah thought so um, but you know it's normal do, it's fine one roll. Use them. uh no actually tia you can make a roll too Okay, that was just That's on awareness, right? Mm -hmm. Sorry, I don't have a skill list up next to me. <laughs> awareness notice uh, four and intelligence, which is nine, so plus 13. And an eight, that's much better, 21. 21 will do it. I was going to give you an extra 20 rather than 15 because you're not so familiar with the doves as Junior is, but you're still me. So you realize that moment is missing moment is the runner of the doves who was there for the heist but was out of the way she does the job of because she is connected in and she has a cellular line to the net she does the job of scouring the net for the local area to make sure bad things aren't happening in the net while you're doing a job uh, she was definitely there during the heist you saw her you, you think you saw a jump in the van but there was a lot going on so maybe not but you don't know where she is whether she's here somewhere in you know you know maybe buried at the back behind the guns or something but that would be weird but you can't see her like in your van and you didn't remember seeing her when the weapon drop off was done okay hey um are we like missing someone there's almost like a party going on in the van now to celebrate this like pickup so like i think there's like a second of like eh, and then one of the doves assets coyote again goes what are we missing someone looks around and goes i don't know there's a few vans that might be in the other ones wasn't moment in this one i think coyote looks around for a second and goes hey bowler another dove um and 
And Bowen was like, what? Moment. Do we, like, Shit. leave her behind? And... Oh, my God. <laughs> Presume now now everyone is kind of literally rummaging around the back of the, the van. Let's say this is basically as you're pulling up at um seven roads by this point. So uh spiral, I don't know if you would have been like in, settled in a booth by now, or maybe you're outside, kind of just chilling in the in the dark of the night. Do you think you would have head straight in? What do you think? Hmm. Sorry, does does this kind of like subdue the party that's going on in the back of the van? Ye I mean ye Would you say the moment's gone? <laughs> <laughs> I would say the moment's gone, yes. All right, that's me. <laughs> Seen a bit. <laughs> just just well checking. Done. Just thought well I'd check. Well I actually, when I thought that in the moment, I was like, moment is a great brand name. And then I was like, someone's going to make a joke out of that, too. <laughs> um, yeah, do you think you're inside? You're directing you're still chilling outside. Spiral. I feel like Spiral would have definitely walked past the queue of people there. Oh, yeah. Spiral does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Spiral is probably because um, I imagine that, like, the, you know, the others are trying to go a more circuitous route, probably mm -hmm. to, like, lay low, I guess. So I imagine Spiral is probably already at Trodes and is probably already inside. And if there is a VIP room, um, he's probably in there. Again, sat in the corner, maybe deigning to talk to bandmates. And maybe talking to someone else if they pass the very rigorous conditions yeah, that Spiral has for of someone uh, she can even stand. There's a few like roadies and others like outside of that <laughs> uh, rigorous conditions, and they're just like at, nearby. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Her siblings are all fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, but everyone else, I mean, it's actually quite quiet when you get in Seven Roads. I think it's kind of still quite early in the night it's only like 11 o'clock or something like that by this point which is still early in the night for a bar in night city um and you know midweek and stuff maybe not so many people here um, but probably going to be a fair few more people here fairly soon you expect a lot of that crowd might end up walking over so it might take a bit but yeah yeah it's worth noting if at any point the dj starts playing some of spirals music um uh, they will like roll their eyes and look extremely unhappy about it <laughs> let's roll to see how sensitive this dj is the second you walk in, the DJ switches to one of your songs. <laughs> Crass. Because they rolled a one. <laughs> um, Crass. Hey, go. Swap the track and then look at Spiral and go. Yeah, they gave the thumb, double thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> they don't even notice that face you make at them, and you get like three more of your songs before it switches back to like uh, whatever other music is playing. <laughs> Goes back to the chromatic rock again. <laughs> Um, cool. So back of the van, you just pulled up now. Uh, so Spiral's already inside. You pulled up kind of just probably a little bit away from uh, Seven Troves, just down at down an alley or something. And then the, the vans will probably be just abandoned because you're you're not really on roads kind of at this point, other than the main road goes past Seven Troves. So you'll leave them be in a dark space and cover them over perhaps for now. But as you pull over, I mean, there's kind of a not quite panic, but certainly concerned looking for moment. Are you just opening up the back and having a rummage? You're going to check with the other vans? What are you thinking? I suppose we'd check with the sort of, yeah, people in the other vans sort of saying, oh, is, is moment in there with you? Uh, mm -hmm. seems I think the logical thing before we start tearing everything else apart looking for, for them. Abel gets like a, a big, a worried frown on his face and just goes like, shit. She definitely got in the vans. I saw her. Didn't see her at the drop off. I guess we search. Okay, but like, how can she just go missing? I mean, the suggestion is the big vans. Is she in the back? So one of the dubs opens one up, <laughs> and as they do so, moment slumped against the back door, crashes out against the pavement. She looks very bad. Did she start the party a little early? Is she <laughs> right? <laughs> well, she looks very pale. Um, as you look closer, though, you think it looks like she's either dying or dead. You're not sure. Her eyes are closed, and it looks like she's, if you had to guess, probably Junior has the best guess of this, she's jacked in. Uh, I reckon Abel probably reacts fairly fast and yells up, where's her modem? Shit. Uh, I reckon you know Junior, because you do a lot of techie stuff. It's in her left arm. Okay, yeah, I will. I will 
I'll tell him okay, it's you know, it's in a it's in a left arm. Uh, mm. is, is she going to be all right? Is she, what, what what's happened? And then Abel looks at you, goes cyber, right? As as in her arm, and then yes, it is a cyber arm. <laughs> yeah. Um, Abel grips her left arm and tears it off. And immediately, moment stops, starts to breathe again. She was kind of completely straight faced, hard, gripped together, shoulders like that. And when the arm is torn off, she goes <gasps> and kind of drool drips down her face. Her eyes remain closed. That's that's one way to unplug it. Did you say this is outside Trodes? Yeah. On just like the street corner just outside. If it, if it helps um, bring the party together, mm -hmm. um, Spiral may have taken a short walk outside like, um, and is like maybe like having a smoke while getting away from um, the, Your music. the, the gonk <laughs> DJ who like is just trying to suck up to her by playing uh, Spiral music. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll yep. just like curiously like wander over to the doves thing uh, and kind of glance around someone and go oh cool she flatlined uh, I don't I don't think quite I think she's she's still breathing now did you say Sam I mean you're no doctor you're not really sure <laughs> to be honest I don't think any of the doves around you are doctors so I think everyone's almost standing there a little bit clueless in this moment <laughs> I obviously my first action is to take a picture, which I rolled a fourteen on, <laughs> and then my second is to go. Well, get a doctor. Shit, but drama te team will be tracked. Okay. Any locals? So, like, I've forgotten what they're called. What's like a cyber doctor? Like called? a ripper doc. Ripper doc. Yeah. Get yeah. a ripper doc. Mm -hmm. And then at that, around here somewhere. At that, Abel goes right. And just runs off. <laughs> I'll, I'll lean down and check it. Well, you could check, check a pulse. That's, that's yeah. fine. Yeah, you'd know enough to know that. Yeah. Um, is there a, uh, do you want to roll? Is there a roll for? Yeah, the, give, just give me an intelligence roll because I don't think you have a skill to relating to it, do you? Uh, uh, Eleven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, for a basic pulse, I was going to say it was a 10. So uh, you think she has a pulse. It doesn't seem like a normal pulse, though. <laughs> you don't really know what that means. Yeah. I mean, I don't know whether I'll know enough Probably to know bad. That not. No, yeah. I say she's got a pulse. It's... So she's uh, alive, I think. But yeah. It just seems it seems very faint or or weak. You, as that's going on, I think one of the one of the dubs goes, "Shit, should we take her inside?" I mean, if we take her inside. There's well, there's, there's more people in there than there is out here. I think load her into the the back of the van and get her off the you know off the pavement. But yeah, you're right. You're right. We're Bola, best to stay out here away from everyone else's eyes. Bola hefts her up and puts her in the back of the van. I'm gonna. Do a like a glance around to see whether we're attracting any attention. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh, give me uh, whatever that role was that I keep forgetting. Notice. Awareness. Awareness. Notice. Awareness. Notice. I have forgotten what I said. My thing was for that plus thirteen. Uh, I rolled a ten. Is that that's critical, right? Yes, it is. So that's an automatic success. So, uh, yeah, you have a really good look around. Uh, there are people watching because there's been a bit of a commotion and it's not like there's no one here. Um, is there anyone you're really worried about? It's more of a, you know, you don't see anyone like pointing a camera. You don't see any corporates. There's no cops around. Um, people might be have cyber cameras. There might be really stealthy stuff, but there's a fair few people watching, though, even people walking over. Okay. I think as long as there's no one saying I'm part of Militech security <laughs> with their t-shirt on the t-shirt or anything mm -hmm. then I'm not too worried mm -hmm. but I'm gonna like if there's a couple of groups going smooth later then I'll uh, make a note mm -hmm. to go yeah. and do that cool cool 
So I think at this point, Eivor comes dashing back with a local Ripper doc in tow. Um, and none of you know this this doctor, and they don't introduce themselves. It's just like a quite short, stocky looking guy uh, with like tools all over his fingers. He looks like he's got like cyber hands only, if you see what I mean. Um, and he dashes basically straight into the back of the van without saying a word to anyone and just goes, shit, 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 what the hell did this? He's like looking at her. He's got like a pulse and he's also got something plugged into the socket where her arm was from his hand. No one um, saw. No one saw what happened. No, we you know, opened the, the, the van and she was slumped out like this. Uh, Jesus, no be all right. tonight, I'm a fucking runner, you idiots. Um, while this is happening, and probably well within earshot of it, Spiral is going to uh, casually walk over to um, Tia, and uh, with like some, uh, will will trigger some like question marks to just like run and kind of explode uh, across his skin, um, and just say, "Do you get any good shots?" I got. Baby, I got the whole show. And I'll like tap the vid cam. Okay, these are these are the ones you roll terribly for, right? No, this was the, oh, this, the oh, only the thing that good shots were from, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I had to um outsource some bits at the end, but uh I'm I'm sure it'll I'm sure it'll stand up to your out there standards. Um, Spiral will kind of uh, wrinkle their brow at the phrase out there standards and almost as a side just says don't be Yono and like l looks over it and goes I don't know looks kind of preem as a translation Spiral is complaining that it looks too good well hmm I'm sure we can throw some noise over it. Make it look a little more... Yeah, but that'll be fake noise. Yeah. Okay, what about this bit? And I'll go towards the end where the Aldecardo took over. Maybe. It's showing me all the time. Yeah. And you're the centre of the show. Sure. You're the center of the spiral, baby. The message is the center of the spiral, Romero. <laughs> I love this is all going on while someone's dying. <laughs> oh yeah, totally. <laughs> well, I'll like, close the camera up and say, <clears throat> you get what you're paid for. And you're not paying me. <laughs> so they this could. is me. They could. Um, spirals indicating, um, like, you know, the doves in general. Well, then we'll see what they think about it. All right. As long as I get last refusal. As 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 always. What's uh, been going on? Go on. <laughs> Yeah, Spiral just kind of wanders off and stands away from the group. <laughs> What's been going on? The Ripper Doc's just like, shit. Well, she ain't flatline. Not yet, anyway. Fuck, what the fuck? Jesus. Bloodhound. It was a bloodhound. Any of you fuckheads know what that is? Ice? Question mark? Yeah. Damn right it is. Worst kind. Doesn't just and he's, he's like stops for a second while he's trying to like basically um defibrillate her <laughs> um take your time yeah hunter killer they're not stationary a lot of cpu for one of them must have been a whole floor of a court from somewhere what sort of fucking job are you doing i mean it wasn't a, a massive job it was standard sort of Thing, I think it was no, no reason for well, no reason for this, surely. 
Is she so going to be like, all right? I don't think he replies. <laughs> Bloodhound sounds like there's some kind of tracking ability on it. Right? Are you, oh. are you asking the, yeah, the dog? Yes. Okay, he takes like a few seconds and then he goes, look, I'm no computer whiz or whatever shit this is. All I know, I've seen one of these things before just once. All I know is they come find you and then stop your fucking heart. I don't know how they find you. That's not my business. Zap. I will <laughs> shoot a glance at Abel. Is he is he reacting to this anyway? I think Abel is not reacting at all and is completely like stone faced. You can't read a thing from his face. He doesn't even glance. He's staring like directly at. He looks like he's deep in thought, maybe, but that's the only thing you get from his face. So, what do we do? Look, I don't know anything's changed. Hopefully she lives. Maybe it was just something from her past, I don't know. Doesn't seem like it would be to do with this job, right? Nothing big enough there. Timing seems odd, though. Yeah, it does, I know. Well, what the fuck are we supposed to do? Run and hide? We can't hide from a program. Look, let's just live out the night. We'll let Cher know as soon as we can. Head of the doves. Just get in the troads, okay? I'm sure we'll figure this out. And he kind of like motions the rest okay. of the group and says, I'll keep an eye on her and this one. Okay. okay yeah, I think, yeah, Junior will let himself get sort of pushed in, you know, into troads with the, the rest of the gang and, you know, Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. I will, on the way in, stop off at the smoking group. Mm -hmm. You know, the the group of observers, and d d gently spread a story about partying a bit too hard. <laughs> gotcha. That's good. You know what? I want to get you use your credibility role for that because that is an sure. absolute typical media thing to do, and I think that will be very useful if you can get it right dude, too. So credibility, as far as I saw, didn't have. Uh, an automatic, like associated. Ah, it didn't okay. have a recommended role, basically. Empathy. Definitely empathy in this case. It's good. So, uh, nine plus six, fifteen, and a one. <laughs> oh, oh, man. You say exactly that, but you're like voice like breaks a little bit because of the kind of slight stress on the night you've had and like your look in your eyes is like there is really something up and they're just fucking curious like they want to know Tenley should roll a fumble but that seems like a fair fumble uh, I did and got five which is I not only don't convince well if it was persuasion or whatever yeah, yeah, yeah. not Sounds only don't like convince this. them you leave them totally cold yeah okay that in this circumstances they're really curious <laughs> Um, I should point out, by the way, that credibility set does say it applies to intelligence. Does it? Oh, sorry. yeah, literally the bottom of the, the last that. sentence. Does it change your role? Uh, uh, well, no, because it was a fumble. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, but fair, fair. Now we there are. we go. Uh, to be fair, a lot of this stuff is bloody hard to spot in all the different skills, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is. It's just big chunks of text. Yep. Um, John is fast outpacing Mike here. You really are. I can't believe how many ones you've rolled. I think you've rolled like maybe six or so, and that's three or four ones by now. <laughs> to be fair, it's a D10. Oh, wait, is it D10 in? It is no, a D20. No, it's a D20. No, it's a D20 in in, Simbaroo. in so Simbaroo, it is, yeah. It is more challenging. The odds. <laughs> I have also rolled a ten, which and is also, also ones, in keeping with Anton. And ones mm. in Simbaroo would be good. Yeah. Be the best. Yeah. <laughs> I've I've swapped my D10 like twice. Guys, that I'm doing all I can. I'm just gonna have to do like some sort of human sacrifice in the next break. <laughs> uh, cool. So you you all head into Seven Troads again. Uh, thankfully, they're not playing on music anymore. Spiral and the DJ seems to not be paying attention to you anymore. The the club's filling up quite a lot now. 
it's maybe like half 11, maybe a bit later than that. Let's get into that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you say the DJ isn't paying attention to me? No. The, hmm. I think the DJ... Playing my music, bad. The DJ Not paying is, attention to me, worse. Let's let's see. Okay, they're all better. The DJ notices you come in, nods at you, and then deliberately leaves you to it. Okay. Not like ignores you. The DJ should <laughs> acknowledge me understand that i'm there and play music that has influenced me <laughs> that might be asking a bit too much with that four roll but they certainly do the first two <laughs> whatever um so spiral presumably settles down in i'm, I'm assuming tia and junior are definitely not welcome near spiral after that <laughs> <laughs> so everyone goes to settle down to get their drinks i'm assuming anyone want to do anything particular in the club the doves generally are kind of a bit more subdued now, although there's still a fair amount of celebration in the air. You know, you had a big score. Good good money for all of you. Do we say that I brought one of the weapons that were a bit odd? You, with we me? did, yeah. So you could find a quieter corner. To I would say, would it be sort of appropriate for me to sort of have it on a, oh, a yeah. table? A seven throws, no one gives yeah. a shit. This is, this is like, you know, if cops came here, they probably wouldn't leave again sort of thing. Yeah, and sort of start tinkering with it and just seeing what's up with it. Mm -hmm. sure. And I'm going to hover over Junior's shoulder because if he's doing something exciting, I want to be the first <laughs> one to find out about it. Sure, sure. So, um, yeah, Seven Troads is like a kind of the Dove's place, so that's one of the reasons why cops would never come here. So you're you would consider yourselves fairly safe here normally too. I suppose Junior's well sort of known enough in that sort of circle that yeah. it, having a weapon on the table and tinkering with it isn't out oh, of the yeah, for, for them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah, sure. So go ahead and make me a roll. Uh, weaponsmith makes sense? Yeah, I think so. Yep. You can have a good roll, awesome. don't you? Yeah. Uh, so uh, that's 19 in total. Okay. So you uh, kind of partly dismantle it, not completely. Let's say this is just an assault rifle you've got here, one of the ones that seemed a bit funny. Um, you what you What you do notice about it is it seems like it was made and then sold and blah, blah, blah. But it seems like someone has fairly quickly taken it apart and put it back together again. Um, but you don't really know why. It's not like they've added anything that you can tell. Um, yeah. Perhaps you could take the whole thing apart completely to really identify that, but that's how far you get with that hole. Okay. Uh, you I'll could spend more time and completely disassemble it if you had nothing else to do with it. Well, okay, no. yeah. I think by this point, Abel kind of marches in the front, front of the club. Um, a few of the doves wander over, maybe Tia, because Tia's always curious. <laughs> um, he just nods at you and goes, she'll live. He thinks she will anyway. She's not far off at his place. Cher knows. I'll say... There you go. Oh, I'll say, well, you know, that's good to hear. Um, I've got one of the uh, assault rifles that we... That we uh, Got from the last job, and uh, uh, something weird about them, or at least the, the one I brought, and I noticed uh, it just seems like it's been taken apart and then hurriedly sort of put back together, almost like amateur, sort of put back together. Uh, I can't quite figure out why, or it's, nothing's changed with it other than, yeah, just shoddily reassembled. Odd. Keep looking here, Junior. I, yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, and I suppose I'll go back to my little booth or corner and Give take a further shout look you... at it. Give me a shout if you find anything more. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll do. And uh, Abel heads straight off to the bar to get a drink. <laughs> uh, go. Is there anyone in the Doves who is kind of like Spiral's primary handler? Uh like I her, her manager. I haven't assigned that. Do you think Spiral would have that? Or do you think Spiral's just like floats around kind of? I think it's almost an absolute necessity that someone will have to be assigned to handle Spiral yeah, and yeah, Spiral's awesome. band because Spiral will not pay any attention to the, the, the like anything on the contract or any kind of schedule unless someone is there to essentially force them to do it. Um, okay. So some kind of fixer, some kind of, yeah. Yeah. Let's say, if, indeed, a fixer then. Kind of the fixer for the, the Doves, who is kind of a um, a short, squat kind of 
uh, quite uh, grumpy looking um, uh, kind of Central American uh, man who uh, he his name is uh, Lowball and he uh, I mean he is probably chilling with Spiral given the circumstances uh, at this point or is that is that near that Spiral near Spiral he probably does keep an eye on Spiral because you're quite fairly important to what's going on with the doves uh, maybe he's just having a drink at the bar then not far from where Spiral is chilling then I'm going to uh, approach Lowball um, do I think I would have had I'm trying to think if I'd have much of a rapport with him already um, I think you probably know all the doves it depends what you mean by rapport <laughs> I'm going to approach Lowball, because um, I think I've spoken to him before, and I'm going to talk to him in Spanish. Mm -hmm. uh, and oh, yeah, you're both I'm going uh, that, to... that gives you immediately a fair bit of rapport, to be fair. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to basically try to sell the footage <laughs> that I had. Um, gotcha. But try and do it so much that he could potentially turn around and try and convince Spiral as well. Uh, gotcha. Okay. So like, look at this cash. fantastic shot. Wouldn't <laughs> wouldn't this be just like fantastic? Pro. It's just like it's completely like representative of like mm -hmm. everything he's been saying ever <laughs> since you, you know the the last performance and like we, you should. It would really just like energize the fan base mm. you know like gotcha that kind of thing i love it i love it um yeah i mean is that probably just like persuading someone is the best idea for that unless you've got a better idea uh persuasion like skill, that seems about right i yeah i'm slightly bullshitting so there's no way i can go with credibility mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go for persuasion, which would be a plus thirteen, mm -hmm. and I'll probably fumble. I do not fumble. I roll a nine, so that's a twenty-two. Ooh. I think Lowball is into this. Good plan. Are you like showing foot showing him footage and everything like that? Because you've got like a little camera with a screen yeah. and everything like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Lowball's like nodding along, like bouncing his foot, like the music. It's like yeah, yes, good shots. Yeah, I reckon Spar will be into this. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah, he's like super up for this. I reckon um he's like not not now though. We'll go tomorrow. Okay. Okay. So we'll we'll talk about rates tomorrow, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We got you, we got you, we got you. Okay. Yeah, we got we'll gotta have a good someone on camera. Yeah. He goes in for a high five. <laughs> a high five back. <laughs> and say, you know, aren't you Romero's? Always here when you need a camera. <laughs> uh, he gives you like a, sl a like a smile, and then it's a little bit awkward because <laughs> that was basically a catchphrase, just for one guy. <laughs> I, it's, uh, I mean, yeah. You out the corner of your eye, you see um, Fallout just like looking at you over a glass, like chuckling. Uh, Fallout is the the kind of other media who works with the dubs who you have does a sort of rivalry with. Does Fallout also speak Spanish? Uh, yes, but not as well because Fallout is okay. not native. Fallout is uh, well, Fallout is American, but from Asian heritage. But she does speak Spanish partly. Uh, I think she probably was a distance. She was more just like enjoying. The, Figuring out what you were talking about rather than listening to every word of it, you know. Um, cool. Okay. Uh, I think I'm happy to let Junior make one more roll. Yep. Before we cut off to the next scene. E, slightly better. So, six, 11, 21. 21. Okay. You, Junior, uh, spend quite a bit of time figuring out. You basically completely dismantle this rifle. And you figure out that uh, the reason it was taken apart and put back together is because hidden deep within the butt of the rifle is a small electronic device, which is not part of the gun's function, as far as you can tell. Do I know, recognize the device? Of... 
Uh, hmm. You look at it for a while and you kind of think about what you know that's like it and then you realize it's probably a transmitter. Ah, that's not good. Uh, I will quickly go up to Abel and be like, I think we've got a problem. Mm -hmm. Abel, uh, like, downs a drink when, he, when you... He's down, like downing a drink when you come to him and go... Just nods at uh, And I'll hold it up and say, I found this in the rifle, in the hidden, in the rifle. Presumably it's in others as well. Uh, it's a transmitter of some sort, uh, which uh, seems not it's... great. It hasn't been a good night, has it? Specifically, Smash probably it. in the rifles that we've, all the weapons that we've, you know. Yeah, yeah, I got gotcha. you. Smash this one. Yeah, I'll just put it on the ground and tread on it. I mean, you can just crush it in your hand, your cyber hand, if you want. That's true. Yeah, that's even cooler. I'll do that. <laughs> you, you crush it in your cyber hand. Um, no other weapons here, right? No, I, well, this is the only one I brought. Uh, this one else brought another, but. I'll tell the others, get someone to let Cher know. We need to move them, don't we? Check them all. Yeah, well, I reckon I could probably figure out which ones have traces in. Now I've, you know, identified this one. Good work, Junior. Uh, Tia or Spiral, was there anything else you wanted to do before I cut to the next scene in the uh, Seven Trodes? I'll just... Um, what Spiral is probably doing now is maybe sat over nearby, maybe near... Uh, their bandmates, like maybe arguing with like a local, a local like music media, like mm. someone who's maybe like already written up the uh, the the gig, like a like a like a music journalist rather than just like a like like Tia, you know, like uh, the the local the local net equivalent of like the NME. That's dating me. Um, <laughs> has, has like written up the gig and is like uh, Spiral is arguing. Uh, the the review was very good, <laughs> uh, but Spiral is arguing that that like this this individual just didn't get it, you know, mm -hmm. like is is talking about it in the wrong way, um, mm -hmm. and occasionally like someone nearby, like uh, maybe a, a fan, is like mm -hmm. kind of butting in, like yeah, yeah, and and um, she just like keeps turning to them and telling them to fuck off and stuff, like you know, generally being very Spiral. I love Spiral. <laughs> uh, Tia, yeah, Tia, I guess you're happy with your negotiating, so shift on from there. Yeah, I'll just uh, get myself a drink cool, and cool. see see if I can find anyone interesting in the crowd. Sounds good. So uh, we'll cut back across to Steve then on his adventure across Night City on old motorbike. First things first, let's have that motorbike ride and roll. <laughs> uh, this is obviously where it all goes wrong. If you it? roll a one on this, that's going to be <laughs> And God, I'm going to give you, we? it's going to be a bit more difficult because of the motorbike. Sure, sure. Uh, well, reflex is eight, um, mm -hmm. and I have three chip, from my yeah. motorcycle chip. Mm -hmm. I roll a four. Mm -hmm. uh, so, 15, 17 is that? Hang on, 15. eight, three. Yeah, 15, sorry. Maths. Well, the target was 15, because normally motoring motorbike would be 10, and this thing okay. is Oof. banged up, so you just did it. Just on the edge. <laughs> so I'll say you struggle across <laughs> and Like It feels like it wants to rip itself apart underneath you when you're literally holding the damn thing together between your thighs. <laughs> um, yeah, so you do manage to drag yourself across Night City on this thing. I, you, you get the impression that... Uh, the same basic problem is going for Gabriel, but every time you glance back, Gabriel is there, maybe like, you know, 50 meters or so behind you, sticking at a fair oh. distance, but following. Um, they also know where you're going, so, you know, out of sight for a sec isn't a worry as far as you're aware. Uh, it's a dark, grimy evening, raining as always. You get soaked through to your skin on this, like, grotty old bike. Your legs covered in engine oil and all sorts of other horrible things. Synthetic oil, of course. Um, you're kind of burning part of your part of your your like calf as well against the, the exhaust, which is just completely out. It's not a pleasant experience. Sure. But sure. before long you round onto the street that you know Seven Trodes is on. Um and then you hear like uh an aggressive yelling coming from alongside you and another motorbike 
pulls up nearby. It's like pulling okay. alongside you because you're really kind of puttering along. You're not going that fast, to be honest. Just a scooter, marvelous. <laughs> well, you probably could go faster on it, but you're not sure how fast yeah. very long. So who is this? Who is this person? Do I recognize them? Do I? You look over. You don't recognize them. They look like some drugged up booster gang nut job. Oh god. Hey, corp! What are you doing on that? <sighs> I got a better bike than this corp. Woo! And he's like pulling up towards you quick as he can. Right. I'm just. Can I? Can I phone Gabriel and yeah, uh, yeah. just? Can you get rid of this? Uh... <laughs> To be fair, you're like way out in the kind of wasteland part of Night City now, so given the night you've had. Yeah, just bump him off course. You don't need to do anything. Uh... Okay. Gabriel basically says, dead? Question mark. <laughs> no, not dead. Just not here. Sure thing. Might take me a moment to catch up on this. Sure. Yeah. And then you just have shit fucking <laughs> call, call cuts out. Um... Yeah, so you, uh, <laughs> you kind of this maniac booster is pulling up to you. He actually like grabs a hold of like your jacket and he, like starts almost pulling you off the bike for a second. Um, and then as that happens, uh, he gets pushed pulled forward suddenly as Gabriel basically rams the bike into the back of him. Apparently, she wasn't really planning what would happen afterwards because she just leaps off the bike because it basically totaled it in the process of doing so. Um, but you're not far away from Seven Trod, so I guess that's not the biggest problem. Um, make a reflex if you have any skills that would be like trying not to be pulled off a motorbike. I don't athletics, I guess. Ooh, athletics. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Reflex and athletics. So reflex is eight, mm -hmm. athletics is four. I roll a two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fourteen. Oh, it's going to be a fifteen. You're yanked off the bike as he goes oh, flying. <laughs> Uh, you weren't going very quick, uh, so you don't really take any damage, but your bike has gone off into a nearby dumpster, and right. it's probably not going to get back up again. It looks like you're walking the last bit. Uh, Even the, that means that this booster jumps back up off his bike, goes, what the fuck? And goes to reach for a gun. <laughs> do you do so yourself, or are you just diving for cover, hoping that Gabriel will deal with this situation? I th um, uh, I'm going to die for cover. Yeah, I don't have time for this. Oh, good. Yeah, you just die for basically towards that dumpster your bike plummeted into. And I should make a roll. Gabriel was prepared for this, though, so I'm going to give her a plus. And then damage, because it's only fair to actually roll these things, even though I'm pretty sure she's going to be fine. Oh. Okay, so that's... Uh, could someone roll me a d10 on the, the chart for you? Uh, oh, I'll roll the d10. Tell me where it hits. Uh, the two. Two is torso. Torso. Okay, so that is only 14 damage to the torso <laughs> of a booster nut job who has no armor. It is literally shirtless riding this bike. Oof. So um, if that doesn't kill, that will certainly stun. But I, I should roll the stun as well, shouldn't I? That will not kill directly. There's that thing about taking more than eight hit points. Oh yeah, you do, don't you? Yeah, is that that? Oh yeah, for a, for a non-player character, that's instant death. So, <laughs> limb loss. Yes, character takes more than eight points of damage to a limb area. That area is severed. It doesn't oh, mention. There's nothing, for, there's nothing for torso. We're just taking lots of damage. Okay, I don't matter. Uh, to be fair, he's very strong, so he'll take. Oh, he's strong, so he'll take sure. four point, three points off that. So that is 14, no armor. Okay, cool. So he's going to roll a stun. And that is going to be his body, which is eight. And then he's taken that many. So that is minus. <laughs> well, he rolls a 10. <laughs> So he's staying up despite okay. having a literal massive chunk taken out of the side of his shoulder and in wow. his chest a bit by this cannon that um, she fired. He stays up somehow and fires back at her. I'm guessing you're basically just staying cover for this this combat. Um, if I think if 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 they don't drop immediately, then I'm I think I'm gonna join in. 
Okay, cool. Well, in that case, we'll need some initiative. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I don't know do if that. someone can create initiative for us. That would be really handy. Um, I think it was John who usually does that, isn't it? So that is roll reflex plus. Let me just scroll up. Uh, oh, gone. I'm on the wrong section entirely. There we go. Fighting. Ah, so well, many sections. 1d10 sections. plus reflex. 1d10 plus reflex. <laughs> so, of course there is 1d10. Uh, yes, so I rolled a 5. Reflex is 8, so 13. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So the guy gets 11. Uh, the booster. And Gabriel gets 10. She did not roll very well. Despite her excellent reflex. Cool. Off you do. Off you go then. Right. Okay. So uh, yeah, I will uh, whip out my medium pistol. This is combat. Mm -hmm. Always right. Hang on. It's going to be reflex plus handgun, which I'm not great at, but uh, might provide a little bit of a distraction, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, plus dice roll. Oh dear me, that's not good at all. Um, I roll a 12. 12? Uh, so where... Hmm, you owe me 15. I think you know, it would be a 15 at this range where you are at the moment. So nope. Sadly, you do not hit. This is your pistol anyway, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 This range. That's fine. So the booster... I wasn't even necessarily thinking this would be a combat, but you know, <laughs> I guess it has to be now. <laughs> Uh, it's a six. He's got a minus, and he's only got a so. Well, he gets a fourteen in total, so it's enough as well. Gabriel. Yeah, I I'd got. Oh yeah, his ref. I got his ref for this, but I wouldn't. Uh, yes, you're right. His thing would be back one as well for Gabriel, but oh, well, it doesn't matter that much. I did remember to half his ref for the attack, though. Just forgot it for the. Gabriel rolled a one. Okay, but no, no fumble effect. Okay, <laughs> you're few. enjoying this solo. You're very useful solo. <laughs> I'll sort of throw uh, Gabriel well, a quizzical look. Gabriel, Gabriel is, has a rifle, so at least he's going to take a three-shot burst, which is only fair. Okay, second shot hits. Okay, now I need a hit location, which is five. Five is right arm right arm okay that right arm is gone <laughs> right arm blasted off by last, second and third round of three shot burst wow okay um and that will definitely knock down <laughs> was, was the gun roll. in the right i guess hand. it's a roll in case that's a 10 but no it's not a 10 so that that booster is completely out maybe not dead right now definitely dying what were you saying steve uh, yeah, i guess it doesn't matter i was wondering which hand they were holding the gun in uh right but yes, it does not matter. <laughs> uh, I'll, the gun's probably been pretty wrecked in the process of those shots as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, and there's no one else around. Was it, were they the only? Uh... Uh, there's other people around, but no one's. You know, I better get involved in this. <laughs> Great. Sort of around. Uh, uh, you're only like maybe like half a mile away from Seven Roads here, so a quick dash. Sure. It's probably um... after midnight by now, so. Assuming well, your your time scale is set to your yes, well, I have my yeah. daytimer chip to uh, you know uh, manage all my uh, appointments. So uh, <laughs> yeah. um, is it flashing I'll... up urgent appointments? <laughs> <laughs> right death. <now. laughs> Imminent death. Um, I'll check with Gabriel. Are you, are you okay? Is fine. We're in a hurry, right? Let's go. We are. Yeah. Um, and I think I'll start making a call um, mm -hmm. over my uh, phone splice. To... While, while jogging, presumably. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So, you know, terribly gauche, out of breath call. <laughs> um, I will call Tia. Okay. Mm -hmm. That does make sense. Uh, so we'll have we'll have Tia on. You probably aren't, you, you probably don't even know who Takashi Katagawa is. Um, maybe you have a very vague idea. I might let you do a roll for it, but it's not surprising that people might have your contact details. Mm -hmm. This is extra surprising because Tia didn't actually buy a phone. 
I'm <laughs> willing to wreck on that. <laughs> do, you, do you think Tia would want a phone? Or is that Probably, like, was that a deliberate avoidance? Sense. If it was deliberately avoided as part of your character, then I don't mind. Let's absolutely not fall into the <laughs> 90s RPG trap of, oh, you didn't buy food, so actually you're dead. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, unless you really think it shouldn't be a part of your character, let's just make you have a phone right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll have a phone. Because <laughs> this is a fun idea. Cool. Oh, God. Your phone rings. It's probably too loud to talk in there, though, so you better dash outside. I will definitely dash outside and round a quiet corner. Okay, cool, um, cool. Hello? Uh, Matt is also outside. Spiral is outside, probably, looking at you while you have this conversation, to be fair, having a smoke. I, so. I think I said I wasn't because uh, people weren't arriving on a bike, because that was going to be the basis of my interaction. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Didn't know. <laughs> All good. Matt, has, the Spiral has finished smoke and has now gone back inside. <laughs> I will, Spiral's I will great. pass them in the vestibule or whatever no, the vestibule the vestibule of hi. the grimy horrible seven drones <laughs> uh if you address spy spiral with a cheery high spiry spiral is going to roll his eyes and, and carry on walking in <laughs> as um, expected so you pick up phone hello uh tia that's uh, i've got the right number i hope y you have excellent um you're all in danger. This is uh, this is Takashi Kitagawa from uh, Miltech. Uh, you haven't called that from Miltech before. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't recognise the name. Oh, that doesn't matter. Um, the guns were traced. There are there are solo teams inbound to your location. I take it you'd like an interesting story. Always. I'll uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you. And I'll hang up. I will head inside and go straight for Abel. And presumably Junior, who is who was talking to him. Yeah, I think uh, Junior is probably uh, maybe back at a booth. No, Junior is probably not taking part weapon because I think we're probably kind of the same sort of time that that conversation was going on between. Junior, so we'll have you back on as well, Jack. Um, and Junior is just finishing the conversation about the traced weapons. So I'm going to bring Jack on. I don't have the power. Oh, hold oh, no, on. Okay. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> just sitting there uh, like, why can't, why can't I? <laughs> yeah, Junior, you basically just finished that conversation about the track weapons when Tia comes in. Uh, I've also just realized I haven't described Tia yet. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Shall I? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, so Tia is a quite slight woman of uh, Central American, not even descent, like she's she's from Mexico, um, who she wears basically exactly the same jumpsuit that Junie is wearing, but hers is vintage uh, with a stylish belt around the middle. Um, and she's got like a, a big halo of black short cropped short ish cropped black curly hair and she has light tattooed freckles across her cheeks that pulsate slightly with different neon lights <laughs> i love it <laughs> um yeah i will go to <clears throat> abel and say okay so we need to leave what why Trump because we've trackers? been traced yeah, but the, the guns had trackers in them, and we have like so many solos inbound. So, what? How the fuck do you know that? Anonymous tip. What kind of fine? And then he starts like yelling at everyone, and then looks straight back at you like, "What kind of tip?" Like an inside tip, like a journalist would have. As this is going on, people are somewhat reluctant. We can get Spiral on here as well. <clears throat> people are kind of reluctantly, what, what the fuck's going on? Why, what? Like, you know, some people, some of the dubs probably are kind of leaving because they listen to Abel, but probably most of the rest of the bar are just like, you know, I imagine Spiral is similar. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Oh, and we should also probably get word back to the drop-offs. What the fuck's because... going on? Anonymous tip. 
Tell me more. Well, it'll be. <laughs> what kind of anonymous? <laughs> Who was it? <laughs> well, what Someone... did they say? They said that the guns had trackers in them, and we have solos inbound. I just told you everything. Anyone could have said that. Like, fine, fine. Let's just go. I mean, we did find. I'll say. We'll yeah, you're right. You're right. Right. Fine. We've we've got this one here. It's. It, I'll, have it adds up. With, I'll have a chat with, and then he goes behind the bar, basically, because no seven drove zone and all that shit. <clears throat> I'm guessing everyone else is kind of just trying to herd people out, or you're just legging it. Like, was this information loud enough for Spiral to have heard it while not being nearby? Uh, I reckon, yeah. Like, Abel did make an effort to, like, call to the whole pub, but it's not really clear exactly what's going on the whole club, I should say. Okay. I mean, Spiral doesn't care about being here particularly anyway, so we'll probably start gathering her bandmates and, like, any gear that's here and just start heading to the band van to mm. leave. Sure, sure. Cool. People upon, I guess, people upon seeing Spiral kind of packing up, people are like, oh, and some other people decide maybe it's worth leaving as well. Sure, yeah. <laughs> uh, Takashi, you can see the seven troads. Uh, you've kind of just dashed around a corner, and you're a couple of blocks away now. Um, and as you draw closer and closer, you see, you see some people out front. It actually looks like people might be leaving, so maybe your tip did something. Um, your 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 ping alert for your urgent meeting is, you know. 10 minutes sort of thing <laughs> um and uh uh suddenly gabriel puts up hand and goes shit spin around what wait i can see a couple of yeah over on the building far distance uh... two with two with rifles watching the place you ain't going in there without them watching. Right, I'll screech to a halt and uh, uh, yeah, activate my uh, sort of thermo vision and telescopic vision, and I presume yeah, I can see them too. And, yeah. Posh vision with a, oh, I'll tell you what, give me a notice because that'd be quite hard to do. Okay, a tip, though, so not really. Oh, hard. It's only a two. That's not great. Um, that's two on. Was it intelligence plus? So yes, eighteen. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> Phew. Um, yeah. So uh, you spend a moment scanning, and you know you can see two figures, like kind of at the top of a rundown old like office block, uh, a fair distance away from you. But they're definitely like you can see weapons, and you can see them pointing in this direction. They might even have seen you already. You don't know. And they're, are they covering the entrance to the uh, the place? Or it looks they... like they're pointing right down the street. You can't tell where they're pointing exactly. Mm, okay. Um, I guess I'll try and uh, find a spot of cover, and um, uh, so people are coming out now. People are heading out of the club. Looks like some people are heading out. Yeah, not like particularly rushing away or anything. Just kind of milling outside of the right. club, or you know, no one's certainly. If you were aiming to get the alarm and to get everyone to run away, it's not like that's really happened. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, if I can find a, a spot that's secluded, that's kind of out of the view of the um, uh, the people on the roof, um, I'd probably get there and then um, call Tia again and uh, uh, give her the location. So, like, out in the alleyway. You, the... you you try to call and the signal is dead. Fuck. Seems like you. I mean, you know exactly what's going on. What's the what's the scene? Can I just out of interest? Uh, did I happen to see anything in the vans? Any any sign of? Um, no, you're. Uh, you can't even see the vans. They're covered over by like right. big tarps next to the club, so you don't know they're there. It's pretty dark too, but you do have the Bosch vision thing. So yes. <laughs> Ah, crap. Go on, go on, John. Will he see, like, specific people starting to come out, though? Like, If, if you're sees... scanning the crowd with your zoom vision. Oh, yeah, yeah scanning, scanning the crowd with yes. so I'm looking out yeah. for Because you know, you know people's faces, you know members of the Doves, you know Tia, um, you know Spiral. 
Um, well, I guess if I see anybody I recognize, um, I would uh, sort of whistle to them. <laughs> this isn't yeah. going to go well at all. Um, I was <laughs> hoping Tia could make introductions, but uh, oh, I love it. if I see Tia, then I'll... Uh, I'll. Yeah, well, you're just going to whistle. I mean, are you going to whistle and kind of go like, <laughs> try and draw attention to yourself? Oh, moderately refined, please. <laughs> gotcha. Rather moderately refined corporate whistle. <laughs> Tia would also be like scanning the crowd as she left. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I am going to look I entirely, um, you know, entirely yeah. out of place here. All three of you give me a notice. No, Takashi, obviously. And I'll give Tia a bit of a plus because you were specifically kind of thinking oh, about this. But... I fumble, which I'm, <laughs> if you're okay with, I'm going to. Uh, oh, I guess I have to roll on the fumble table, right? But like, uh, I don't mind role playing. I, I guess way. I'd interpret it as like I'm arguing with maybe like one of my bandmates by the van as people are mm -hmm. trying, like loading it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. That's fun. Uh, guess what I, I rolled? A one. <laughs> yeah. Fumble for you. Gonna come on. I got an eighteen. 18. Oh, eighteen, junior. <laughs> You see, so you hear a whistle faintly in the distance, and no one else seems to notice it. But you see someone who. Do you have any eye optics? Uh, I do actually. Yeah, I, I've got tele optics as well, so I can sort of. You can immediately pick them out then. Uh, yeah. You can see very clearly they're dressed in somewhat scruffy and dirty looking now, <laughs> very high quality corporate looking gear. They should not be out here. They don't. They've got one what looks like maybe guard with them, but they're kind of hiding around the shadows. You can't really see. What the hell they're doing in somewhere like this, you have no idea. That's just yeah, asking for trouble. And they're looking at you, and the whistle came from them. Okay, I'll uh, I'll probably let Abel know, and then probably also to your ass to is is that your guy? Uh, Abel like looks over and goes like, what the fuck is going on? Anonymous tip? That's probably the guy. Let's go then. Watch your backs. Are we going to swing by and pick him up? Just starts. Abel's walking over there now. Oh, okay. Uh, Takashi, you see a large, well, you know, Abel, mm -hmm. uh, a few other of the doves, including Coyote Jr., uh, Tia, Spiral. You see some of the doves wandering off towards an alleyway. Uh, you haven't seen anything particularly, you haven't noticed anything particularly down there. Uh, do you think you'd be like, you'd be like, ugh, or do you think you'd be curious? <laughs> um, Funny one from roleplay, you're like, is my character just not involved in this and doesn't give a shit? <laughs> Spiral does not consider himself to have been involved, barely involved. As far as Spiral is concerned, he, he is aware what happened, but as far as he's concerned, he's just played a gig. Utterly innocent, yeah. And come back <laughs> from like, so yeah, Unless someone is going to flag to Spiral that they're in trouble, mm -hmm. like Spiral is just packing up after a, like getting the gear packed, fully packed up, and leaving to go home. <laughs> I love it so much. I suppose, yeah, Spiral doesn't know about the trackers or anything like nope. that. So I'll nope. sort of mention to Abel then: should we let Spiral know <laughs> about everything going on here? Should we let they Spiral would've... know that they're about to be gunned down by <laughs> yeah. multiple groups of solos? I think, I, I didn't say it, but I think, because it's currently my meal ticket, I would have <laughs> specifically spoken to Lowball to tell him to get sure. Spiral, to, to tell him to tell Spiral. Spiral's sure. not going to talk to me, probably. Yeah, sure, sure. So I think Lowball approaches... Spiral um... has talked to you multiple times tonight. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> That's because Spiral wanted to talk to me. <laughs> sure. Yeah, Spiral, so low, Spiral low spoke ball to you. You didn't speak to Spiral. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Spiral like. uh, low ball approaches you, Spiral. It goes, Hey, Jumbata, looks like something's going on. Some bad. And why are you telling me that? Might be a danger for all of us, including you. Look, I know you just played that gig and that's how it always is, but you're involved. I reckon right now you're best staying with this lot. Be safest. Some corpos on, on our tracks, looks like. What, people are following us. I don't know what's going on yet much either. Sorry, man, but maybe, maybe. Spiral, like, 
sets back uh, and sort of um, like uh, a flurry of like um, different footage of like um, basically angry animals <laughs> like flickers <laughs> over um, his skin in various patterns and he reaches over and like kicks open a, a gear uh, a gear bag and pulls out a, a quite expensive looking handgun um, and holster which um, he like just takes takes the, the, the jacket off completely uh, puts the holster on underneath and pulls the jacket back over and buttons it up and goes fine <laughs> Great. I think um, Oddball, knowing Spiral, has kind of already half turned around and shrugged by the time you said fine. <laughs> sure. Um, okay. And the gear is still being packed up, but like Spiral's at least keeping an eye out. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. gotcha. Spir Spiral has like Spiral gives an impression of being a certain way, but is also a former nomad. So, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Oddball kind of gestures you to follow as well. Um, uh, Spiral sends the bandmates off with the gear in the van. <laughs> like, that's that's too much collateral to risk. <laughs> fair, fair. I love it. Um, yeah, so uh, Takashi, a fair few of the doves, including Abel, Junior, and uh, Tia and Spiral, who are kind of associates of them, are wandering straight over to you. And that is our meeting. I think we'll pause for a quick break there. Pause for a break there. Yeah. Cool. Uh, so back in another 10 minutes, folks. Join us then. The finale. <laughs>